What will the Osmo Action do if I strap it to a racing drone? And it's a pretty powerful one too. Hi, I'm Ashton Droning On. Now I know a few people have already done this, strapping the Osmo Action to racing FPV drones, but I've not done it yet, and so today I'm gonna give it a try. So I've got quite a few racing quads, but the one I'm using here is one of my favorite. It's called the Dark Max. It's a five inch quad. You stick a 4S battery on the bottom of it, which is about 14.8 volts, and it goes like a bat out of hell. I've mounted the Osmo Action on there, not particularly <laughs> cleverly, but it should do. It's got a rubberized Velcro strap on there, so it should be just about right. As you can see on the front there, I've got the FPV camera, which is what I'll be seeing through my FPV goggles. I've also set the Osmo Action at about the same angle as that FPV camera, so that that will see a high resolution version, essentially, of what I'm seeing through the goggles. But I will put both shots on the screen so you can see the difference between what I see and what the Osmo Action is going to record. So if you want to get into FPV racing, there are a few other bits you'll need. First of all, batteries and lots of them. These are quite expensive actually, but it's worth buying good batteries. You'll also need a transmitter like this one. Hi Ash, I'm ready to go. <laughs> and of course also a set of FPV goggles. I've got the HD3s, which I think are my favorites because they've got a nice wide FOV and great quality. Um, in there is a little receiver module so that you can pick up the video signal. That's about it. All of it's linked in the video description, but if you want to get into FPV, you can do so for probably a couple of hundred dollars and it's absolutely worthwhile. So anyway, I've set the Osmo Action to log mode, which means I'm gonna apply a lot. Let's get straight onto the footage. Everything you see in this video is linked in the video description. Enjoy and comment below. Okay, so this first flight is without Rocksteady on. So let's arm the quad and up we go. And we're in the air. Now it's a little bit windy today. But remember, this is without Rocksteady, so we've got no image stabilization at this point. But it's um, hopefully still gonna look quite nice and smooth because on a quad, unless you're flying really erratically, the flying movement is generally quite smooth anyway. Look at these lovely green fields. Ah, they just love summer. And it is just beautiful today. <laughs> so this is without Rocksteady, as I say. I think what we'll do now, I won't spend, spend too long without Rocksteady on, is land, turn on Rocksteady, and just see what sort of a difference we see. So let's try and bring it down as smoothly as we possibly can so we don't lose our camera. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's turn on Rocksteady and try again. So here we go again. We've got Rocksteady on this time. And so let's have a look. You can see the view through my FPV goggles. And by the way, just a disclaimer, I do have a spotter stood just out of camera so that um, for safety reasons so we're armed and it's recording here we go you can see the fpv view that i can see when i'm flying at the moment and let's now have a look at the osmo action with the rock steady enabled and how does that look folks let's pick up a bit of speed does that look nice and smooth <laughs> god i love these quads just absolutely brilliant. The views you get up here are just great as well. Around that camera, around the tree, I mean. Yay. So I'm hoping that Rocksteady can even make a rubbish FPV pilot like me look skillful. <laughs> uh, now, if it can, then Rocksteady truly is impressive. Um, just a reminder, we're shooting in 4K as well. Uh, 50 frames a second. I don't know why, I just prefer 50 frames a second. Um, it just gives a nice, I don't know, a bit of a compromise, I guess, but... Let's see if we can get a bit lower. 
nice and low over the tree. Look at that, lovely. Let's see if we can go through that gap over there. Yeah, of course we can. And around. And back, let's do a roll above our head. Woo! <laughs> So that's with Rocksteady on. Now, some people have said, uh, in fact, DJI themselves recommend Rocksteady being used at 1080p. And that's because the way that electronic image stabilization works is it's using the additional resolution to crop, pan, and scan, pop, to crop, pan, and scan the image to stabilize it. So essentially, if you use a smaller resolution, the camera has more additional spare resolution to play with because the camera's still shooting in 4K, um, but it's using the excess resolution to crop to gain that EIS. So what we'll do now is land. We'll change the resolution to 1080p, and then we will um, keep Rocksteady enabled and see what it looks like. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, and there we go. <laughs> so we turned the resolution down to 1080p, we've got Rocksteady enabled. Let's see what sort of a difference this gives, if any, to the stability. Just another safety warning, whenever you are flying, even when you've got a spotter, always have a look around yourself. It's a little bit like if somebody said to you, you can jump off the cliff, it's all safe, you'd still have a look yourself before you did it. So even with a spotter, always, always look yourself just to be sure. So this is 1080p with Rocksteady. How does that look? Hopefully nice and smooth. Let's go around this tree. Oh God, I love this quad. This is a great place to fly as well. Nobody about here. And that's really important when you fly an FPV because these things are fast. And if you don't know what you're doing, if you're not very good at flying, then you can easily get very disorientated and end up losing awareness of where you are. Let's do a bit of a climb up this tree. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. <clears throat> so, do you think that stability is better? Do you think we're getting more stabilisation there? Because DJ and I say we will. And it does make sense, as I said, because of the cropping of the sensor. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And if you do want to get into FPV, everything you need to fly is linked to in the video description. So do have a look at that, because it is an absolutely brilliant way to relax. Um, and of course, it takes a lot more skill than just flying a basic GPS drone. So it's much more satisfying in that respect as well. So please do give it a go. Comment below with your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up. And of course, click that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching, folks.